All right, and welcome to the first segment of a little thing I like to call feedback. Uh, this is based on basically a question I got online uh, regarding ring modulation and uh, what kind of things that I personally like to use it for. Someone left a comment on uh, one of my YouTube videos. Uh, so what uh, I like to personally use it for is to distort audio and or create very unusual sounds. Uh, so let's give a little demonstration of that, and I'll tell you what's going on in our patch here. The blue cable is uh, coming from my audio player. Sorry about that. And uh, it's going to be patching a drum loop or a loop into our ring mod up here. The red cable is actually going to be patching in a sine wave from an audio rate uh, VCO. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in and listen to the first one. It's basically a synthesizer loop here. So there we have a nice little distorted sound, nice and crunchy. I can manually change the octave of my oscillator to vary the distortion. Getting nice little plucky squelches right there. I actually like that. Right there, I'm just changing the manual tuning. So forth. I'm changing the octaves here. So that's one thing you can use it for. I um, also have a drum loop here. Here we go. So this is another thing I like to use it for to distort drum loops. Not too uh, happy about the lower octaves, but that this kind of higher octave I really like right here. Especially this one right here. It's one of my favorite ones right there. It's almost giving me a little conga to add on to my little drum loop right there. And then of course, that's just with a sine wave. I could also use any other type of wave going into my uh, ring mod. I'll try a few waves out here. I'll go triangle wave now. Here we go. Change my octaves a little. A little more crunchy, not so much ringy to me. Right here, I'm gonna change my uh, waveform into a square or pulse wave. So it's much more distorted here. I'm going to adjust my pulse width. And right there is where my pulse width goes into the unhearable range. And then lastly, I'm going to go into a saw wave. And I'm going to change my octaves a little. And there I'm kind of finding my little section right there where I and more familiar with the ring mod type sounds to be in. At any rate, this is the first section of feedback. Uh, it's mainly focused on answering questions that people might have or the comments people might have about something I did or in one of my previous videos or that they might want to ask me, uh, just my personal take on it. So I hope this answered your question. Uh, keep on patching out there, and we'll see you in the next segment.